Caitlin Clark just shattered the WNBA with a crazy performance, breaking records and taking down legend Diana Taurus. She hit an astonishing 129 assists for the season, nearly snagged a historic triple-double and led the Indiana Fever to a thrilling comeback victory. Can you believe this rookie sensation is already rewriting history books? April 2024, when she implied, without naming Clark, that the streak of success she achieved during her time at the University of Iowa wouldn't immediately manifest in the WNBA. Caitlin Clark, the rookie sensation, has been lighting up the WNBA all season. From the moment she stepped onto the court, she's been turning heads with her incredible playmaking skills and scoring ability. Now, on the other side, we have Diana Taurasi. If you follow basketball, you know Taurasi isn't just any player. She's a legend. She's been dominating the WNBA for years, with a resume that's the stuff of dreams, multiple championships, MVP awards, and she's the all-time leading scorer in the league. She's the kind of player who strikes fear into her opponents and commands respect from everyone who loves the game. Taurasi's presence on the court is almost mythical a blend of experience, skill, and sheer willpower. So why was this game such a big deal? Well, it's not every day you get to see a rising star go head-to-head -head with a living legend. Fans were buzzing with anticipation. Could Caitlin Clark in her rookie year hold her own against someone as seasoned and decorated as Taurasi? The stakes were incredibly high. For Clark, it was a chance to prove that she belonged at the top, even as a newcomer. For Tarassi, it was about maintaining her reign and showing that the old guard still had some tricks up its sleeve. This game was more than just a matchup. It was a symbolic clash between the future and the present of the WNBA. The Indiana Fever, with Clark leading the charge, were out to prove that they could compete with the best, while the Phoenix Mercury, anchored by Tarassi, were determined to defend their territory. The Fever had been struggling in the early part of the game, trailing behind, but Clark wasn't about to let that slide. The tension was palpable, the kind that kept you on the edge of your seat. 151% more than the $43 price from 2023. Now, the purchase price for most teams entering the 2024 season is generally higher when they play the Fever than their average game. Tick Pick has sold 222% more tickets for WNBA games. Her court vision is unreal. She sees openings and angles that most players can't even dream of. She makes these laser sharp passes that slice through the defense, setting up her teammates for easy buckets. It's like she's got eyes in the back of her head. Watching her play, you can't help but marvel at how she makes it look so effortless. And let's not forget her overall game stats from that night. Clark finished with 15 points, 9 rebounds, and those 12 assists. She was just one rebound shy of a triple-double. Can you imagine how nerve-wracking that must have been? She was so close to making even more history. But even without that triple-double, her performance was monstrous. From the opening whistle, Clark was in control. She orchestrated the Fever's offense like a seasoned maestro, directing traffic and finding her teammates in perfect spots to score. There was one play in the third quarter that still sticks with me. Clark drove into the lane, drew the defense, and then, in a split second, whipped a no-look pass to Aaliyah Boston for an easy layup. It was a jaw-dropping moment that showcased her incredible playmaking skills. The Phoenix Mercury came out swinging in the first half. They were dominant, plain and simple. By halftime, they were leading 49, 38. It was looking pretty grim for the Fever, and honestly, it seemed like they might be in for a long night. But the second half? That's where the magic happened. The Fever came out of the locker room with a fire in their eyes, and Clark was right at the heart of it. In the third quarter, the Fever exploded, scoring 29 points while holding the Mercury to just 13. It was an incredible turnaround, and you could see Clark's fingerprints all over it. She was pushing the pace, making clutch plays, and setting up her teammates like a pro. Her leadership was on full display, and the Fever fed off that energy. Then came the final quarter. The Fever had the lead, but they knew the Mercury, with Taurasi, wouldn't go down without a fight. It was a tense back-and-forth battle, but the Fever held their ground. Clark continued to make big plays, keeping her composure under immense pressure. 
When the final buzzer sounded, the scoreboard read 88, 82 in favor of the Indiana Fever. That final score doesn't even begin to tell the whole story. It was a gritty, hard-fought comeback that showcased the Fever's resilience and Clark's undeniable talent. She wasn't just playing, she was orchestrating a masterpiece on the court, proving she was not just a rising star, but a force to be reckoned with. Watching her out there, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a legend like Tarase, you knew you were witnessing something special. Clark's performance wasn't just a great game, it was a statement. She's here, she's ready, and she's changing the game. And honestly, I can't wait to see what she does next. If you're not following her and the fever, you're missing out on one of the most exciting stories in sports right now. From the get-go, Clark was the maestro directing the fever's offense. Every play, every pass, it was like she had a mental blueprint of the entire game. Watching her orchestrate the offense was like watching a seasoned conductor lead an orchestra. She had her teammates perfectly positioned, dishing out those crisp, precise passes that sliced through the Mercury's defense like a hot knife through butter. She wasn't just a scorer, she was the playmaker, the catalyst for everything the Fever did on offense. But it wasn't just her offensive genius that stood out. Clark was a beast on defense too. She was all over the court, contesting shots, intercepting passes, and just being a general nuisance to the Mercury. Her presence was felt everywhere. She controlled the game's pace, slowing it down or speeding it up whenever necessary. It was her calm under pressure and her ability to read the game and make split-second decisions that kept the fever on the front foot. Now, as good as Clark was, basketball is a team sport, and she had some serious backup. Take Aaliyah Boston, for instance. Boston was a powerhouse, scoring 17 points and grabbing eight rebounds. She was a force in the paint, both offensively and defensively. Her ability to dominate the boards and score crucial baskets kept the fever in the game when things got tough. Then, there's Kelsey Mitchell. In just 21 minutes, she racked up 16 points. Mitchell was like a sniper out there, hitting crucial shots when the team needed the most. Clark even gave her a shout-out in the post-game interview, praising her for her poise and clutch shooting. Mitchell's ability to step up in key moments was vital to the Fever's success. Melissa Smith was another standout. She pulled off an impressive double-double with 12 points and 15 rebounds. Smith was everywhere, grabbing rebounds, controlling the tempo, and providing the Fever with extra possessions. Her rebounding was crucial, especially in the second half, when the Fever were making their comeback. Pulling her into a brief hug, they also exchanged a friendly greeting. Tarasi's teammate, Brittany Griner, also took a moment to greet Clark. One fan tweeted, Love this. Y'all can kill the narratives now and enjoy the WNBA. Fans were equally thrilled to see Tarasi and Clark engaging. After the game, the atmosphere was electric. Clark was humble, but confident in the post-game interview. She talked about the team's resilience and how they never gave up even when they were down at halftime. She emphasized that it wasn't just her out there, it was a team effort. She praised her teammates, especially Kelsey Mitchell, for stepping up and making big plays. Clark's leadership was evident not just on the court, but in how she spoke about her team. She wasn't taking all the credit, she was sharing it, highlighting the contributions of each player. Clark also talked about how the team managed to stay calm and focused, even when the Mercury were ahead. She mentioned how they found a way to respond every time the Mercury attacked. It's this mental toughness and resilience that makes the Fever a team to watch. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.